Welcome back to the aquaponics greenhouse. I'm going to show you my failures along with my successes. So I'm in a Harbor Freight 10 by 12 greenhouse and up at the top they do have some air vents uh, that I leave open. However, I went on vacation so I did uh, close and lock which um, I modified the greenhouse. I drilled a hole in it so that I could lock it. I did close and lock these doors and the reason is because you never know who is going to be messing around while you're gone. So um, anyhow, everything in here absolutely cooked. Even though I had the, the vents open at the top as well as there's a panel up there. I don't know if you can see it has actually slid down. But let me show you. All these squash have mostly cooked. The beans in the back, they're still there somewhat. Some of them are dead. And over here, blueberry bush is cooked. These beans over here are fairly cooked. Um, the onions um, have somewhat survived. There's some of it, some of them have died. Um, so yeah, this was a bit of a disaster. I did not have chance to get my outdoor aquaponics unit built. Time is always a factor. I work a full-time job. I'm a single mom. So, um, yeah, I didn't get my outside unit built. So, as a workaround, I had all these plants. They were potted in potted soil in the little six-packs, and I knew that there was no way that those would survive. So, I actually uh, put them in rocks um, in various containers and put those in water to soak and some of them have actually lived um, some of the tomatoes are starting to look a little yellow I'm guessing I need to get those planted um, outside in the dirt I don't think I'm gonna have time to get the actual aquaponics units built um, but I do have some okra over there um, the okra survived as well as over here in this duckweed pond I have some peppers um, both hot peppers and sweet peppers but by and large, um, most everything in here has burnt up. So, lesson learned, um, you need to have some sort of fan or ventilation, or I guess if you leave, uh, leave the doors open. It does get very hot in here.